We've got a robotic assisted total hip replacement on the schedule this morning and I wanted to walk through some of the steps that we use in the preoperative planning of these type of operations and show some of the advantages of using the Mako robot to achieve extreme precision and accuracy in the placement of our implants. So we're going to step into the OR here and go over our preoperative plan. So initially you can see this gentleman already has a hip replacement on the right side that we did a few months ago. A very arthritic hip here on the left, a lot of bone spurs. Because we have a CT scan, uh, we know that he's actually three millimeters shorter on the side that we're operating on today. And we'll attempt to correct that and place implants uh, in the best manner possible. So initially, we start with the planning of the socket. We're looking at a cup inclination or abduction angle of about 40 degrees and cup aniversion of somewhere in the 20 to 25 degree range. We know from multiple published studies that these positions help ensure a durable result of the replacement and that they reduce the patient's risk of dislocation. I'm able to move this in all planes and look at the image three-dimensionally in relation to the patient's pelvis. I can see that he has a lot of osteophyte or bone spur that I will need to remove during the procedure. This allows me to look at the planned hip center with the procedure, as well as what the stem will look like in place. And although this looks like an x-ray, this is a plan of what the final x-ray will look like. You can see an excellent placement of the socket. The hip that's now perhaps one millimeter longer than the opposite side. We've restored his leg length, and I'll be able to make adjustments to that intraoperatively. And this is to ensure that we place those components in exactly the right position and get the best possible result. Thanks. This is our immediate post-op x-ray from the Mako robotic hip replacement that we planned this morning. And although these x-rays are somewhat technically limited, you can see excellent positioning of the implants. We're extremely satisfied with the position uh, and also with the fit uh, of the implants, both the socket that you see here and the femoral stem.